Grab your marker, paintbrush, or pen. It's time to do art with Miss Faye again. Welcome to Quarantine Art with Mrs. Faye. Yay! Hey, happy Cinco de Mayo coming up. Thought I would show y'all how to do a cool little cute cactus painting. So here's the supplies for this project. I would pause the video now and see what you have. So first of all, we're going to be creating, it's a two-part lesson. The first part, we're going to use paper towels and food coloring to create a serape blanket. And then the second part is to paint the cactus using temper paint or acrylic. So for the first part of our project, we're going to create a serape using red, yellow, and blue food coloring and paper towels. Okay, so for the first part of the project, you're going to need three cu small cups of water, a little bit of water, and then about 10 drops each of the red, yellow, and blue food coloring. The next step, after you mix those around a little bit is to find a paper towel. Now you're going to take the paper towel and fold it in half then fold it again. You can do a triangle if you want and you want the key is to make it as small as you can and neatly. Now comes the fun part. You get to Learn the secondary colors. If you dip the corner in the red and the yellow, you're going to get orange. Then you can do the other two corners, one with the blue and then the yellow to make green. And then like magic, the last two is blue and red makes purple. All right, then the next step is to let the water absorb into the paper towel and then very carefully open it up. If you go too fast, you might get a tear, so go slow, and when you open it up, you're going to notice a beautiful pattern. That is how we make our serape. Cool! Set it aside to dry. Next, decide which cactus you're going to paint, the saguaro, the barrel, or the prickly pear. I'm going to do the saguaro cactus for this demonstration. First, you start with a dark brown and you outline the pot. Then, go in with the middle shade of brown or tan and paint the inside. Then, you use the same technique for the cactus, starting with the dark, outlining your shape, then dark green, then use the light green inside. You can add a flower and also some prickly needles. The last thing you can do is paint a border along another piece of colored construction paper. This just gives it a little more pizzazz. Cut out the cactus once it's dry, glue your blanket down, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this project. Again, here are your list of suggested supplies. If you don't have anything, be creative. Figure it out and have fun. That's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this mixed media art project with Miss Faye. Make it a great day, unless you've got other plans. Bye-bye.